Somebody, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Boat garden in a club. Where the What's going on guys? It's your boy Playboy back again with another video guys And I know it's been a little while since I've been here because of the holidays So I took a little bit of time off, but your boy is back and I'm coming back with another video guys as far as how to be the best streamer now I've had a lot of people ask me how Do I have my OBS? You know systems or how I have the settings to be able to stream the way I do well guys for you I'm going to give you a special easy way to go ahead and be a pro streamer. So if you are new to streaming and you want to know how to be the best, make sure you stay tuned and watch this video. I will include all links to everything that I describe and everything I tell you today in the description. So it makes it very easy for you to be able to go and download what I'm going to be talking about today. And also guys, on top of that, I want to go ahead and bring to you to let you know guys I have new uh, a new line in my merch shop so if you haven't already checked that out make sure you go ahead and check that out guys it is going to be awesome the new design the new logo is amazing so let me know what you think about the new logo and what item you like the best in the shop guys let your boy know in the comments and also if you go ahead and cop some of that merch guys it is around the holidays, so make sure you go ahead and cop some for not even you, but someone in your family, friends, whoever you think might like it. Guys, if you do go ahead and buy some of the merch, make sure that you are aware that it does help me out a little bit. Not a lot. There's not a lot that I get back from it, but I do get a little bit, but the support shows me a lot. So if you do buy some merch, make sure you go ahead and take a picture, send it to your boy either on IG or Twitter. Or if you got if you have direct messaging to me, you can send me any way you want to, guys. I don't care. You can put it in the comments. But let your boy see, and I will go ahead and, like I said, showcase you in the next video that I do after I see that picture. So thank you for showing the support. If you do buy some merch, let me know in the comments again which one you like the best. If you do like the new logo, all of that, guys. I want to hear from you guys. Also, I will also leave description or in the links, uh, the links to all the equipment that I use in my videos. So if you want to purchase something that you see uh, that might help you on your streams or your videos, the link is down there also. That helps out too, guys, especially on the holidays. Like I said, they have tons of deals. Um, the links are going to be affiliate to Amazon. Again, it helps me out for any little bit that you purchase, even if you don't purchase the item that, that you uh, select in the description. It, anything you buy on Amazon, it'll it'll help me out a little bit. So even if you're not planning on buying something that I have, click on the link, go purchase what you're gonna buy from Amazon, help your boy out. Anyways, getting into the video guys, what we're gonna be talking about today, if you are new to streaming, or even if you're somewhat of a seasoned veteran and you haven't already moved, which I would doubt that you haven't already moved, but the easiest thing you can do is download Streamlabs OBS. It makes the process streamlined, guys. Everything you need is inside that application. So, again, if you're new, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, first of all, for all the great content that we do put out here on the channel. Also, smash the like button or thumbs down if you don't like the video. Tell your boy what's up. Anyways, but go ahead and hit that, uh, that description button down there for Streamlabs OBS or what we like to call slobs. Download it, give it a try. Your boy gets some compensation from it. For every person that downloads it, your boy does get a dollar. So I would appreciate the support. And like I said, this will help you out too, guys. This benefits you because it gives you everything that you need to know. And we'll go ahead and get into it right now. All right, guys. So we are here, and like I said, we're going to be going over Streamlabs OBS. So when we click on Streamlabs OBS, it will open up. Like I said, once you download it, it will have uh, a an shortcut that you can download on your desktop to make things a little bit easier to be able to pull it open. And it will always check for updates as soon as it opens to make sure that you have the most updated version. So it does, like I said, Streamlabs OBS does everything for you. There's nothing that you'll have to do basically besides personalization. So making it your own. And there's so much here in Streamlabs. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's OBS open up right now for you uh, to kind of see. And so this is kind of my layout for Fortnite, guys. I mean, this is a live scene. If I was to play, which it looks like my PlayStation's already on. I don't, I don't even know how it got on. But anyways, if it was to come on, like you would see your game in the background and this is the layout. And so this was so easy to get set up. 
with the simple fact of this, themes. So once you download it, it'll be fresh. You won't have all the stuff that I have. But like I said, one of the greatest features of this is being able to set up overlays. Before we would have to buy overlays. Whereas now, you can just go ahead and download one that's already on the, on the application. So they've made it easier for everyone to be able to stream and not just to be someone that's outed a lot of money to be a professional streamer to make your streams look good. Now, of course, as times go, then you'll learn more to it and you'll be able to personalize even more and maybe do some of the even better uh, you know, alerts, which is also something they provide in here. So getting into it, guys, like I said here, these are just some of the first ones you can actually type up here. Uh, let's say Call of Duty. You can do it this way. It'll pull up some of the uh, applications that are more geared towards uh, Call of Duty, which looks like there might not be any. So anyways, let's uh, go back down here. Then we'll go first person shooter. That might make it easier. So first person shooter will make it a little bit easier to determine like your type of game style. You can search that down here in this section here. You have action, mass, uh, massively multiplayer online, role play game, adventures, simulation, real time, sports, dance, generic, and IRL. So a little bit for everybody, right? And then the color themes, you can also select that. Uh, live, be right back, offline streamline, or stream starting. You can select if you need all of those types. So you can have a stream starting set to where you can put it up. It has no face cams or anything like that to welcome your streamers and let them build up before you actually start playing your games. Be right back. So if you have to take a break, it gives them a nice screen to look at. A lot of times it'll have chat so they can chat to each other while you're gone. Offline to let them know that you're offline. This is going to be more towards Twitch. Uh, and then stream starting uh, again, or the live. I'm sorry, that's the one I failed to mention. Live. Live is going to let them know when you're actually live playing the game, things like that. Those are going to be those screens, and that's the big one that you'll typically see here at the top. Uh, so, I mean, they have some really nice ones here. I mean, and it's being personable, right? So making it your style, your way. And so here's a big one that uh, is actually kind of crazy. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's more of a lighter version of it. But this would typically cost you about $25. I have actually priced this myself outside of Streamlabs OBS um, with all the action that comes with it and stuff like that. Like all this is it's pretty cool. It actually goes into motion and stuff like that. Now this might not include the, the whole motion theme to it, but it gives you the basics of it, right? To set up. And so nerd or die, if you do not want to go to Streamlabs o OBS way but you have OBS and you're still looking for like overlays for your streams nerd or die is a great place to go they have some cheap overlays that looks really great so um, definitely go check them out but when you go like it'll tell you how many people install this so 31,000 people as of right now have installed this and when you find one that you want to go ahead and install you just hit the install overlay button and that will go ahead and add it back to the section that I'll show you here in a bit uh, this when you install this one it does include the live stream starting be right back and offline So it includes all of the sections that you were needing outside of there Like I said, it does have a section up here if you want to get the full animated version You can actually get it for 20% off if you select this button here. It'll take you right to that So again, there are still some that if you want the full animated version you'll still have to pay for but this gives you a start if you're just beginning and you need somewhere to start this will give you a great start to personalize your stream and make sure that everyone still enjoys it so going back just to kind of continue to look over some of these like i said let's go to role play there's a lot of people out there who do role play so there's a lot of starts here i mean starting soon they look really nice so you can tailor this to a game that you might play quite a bit uh, which would be a great start. I don't want to make this video too long guys like always so you have animated and static So you can have one that has animation to it. Let's go ahead and click on that so you can kind of get an idea So when you click on this If it has animation it might take a little bit longer to load But it shows you here like you can have the stream like there's the chat that will continue to move the overlay here on your Webcam will also move so slight it looks like this one has slight slightly movement on it But let's look at the start screen see that smoke in the background It can be animated which is cool This is not something that a lot of us had when we first started so it's a great tool to begin Streaming if that is something you want to do now getting outside of the themes uh, Again once you select one you'll go to the live tab and you'll have it here uh, If you have multiple different ones that you download 
you can actually hit this drop down button and you can select different ones like I have faded here uh, it'll take a second just to update here but uh, you can have multiple ones so if you have different games different styles you want on different days it's all here so yeah this is the faded one that I have here it has it's like a rainbow style or whatever and then it has all your things up here I use this one mainly for twitch when I uh, do the the twitch streams um, but right now Victor L is my favorite one when I do stream I, I've been streaming Fortnite for the last couple of days so uh, if you haven't checked out my live streams make sure you go ahead and do that uh, I used to live stream quite a bit on Twitch um, but I went back to YouTube YouTube is where I have my biggest following so again guys follow me on YouTube anyways um, but this is where we have all our, our options and then of course if you have a mic which I do here uh, which is the Blue Yeti uh, you can adjust it here and like I said, properties is where you'll go and you'll be able to adjust, select your mics. Uh, you can use timestamps. You can adjust the, right here, the volume of it all. The webcam, if you were using a webcam mic, you can adjust it here also. My video game capture, so my Elgato, when it captures the sound, you'll see here you can adjust it here quickly too. Or if you were doing something off your desktop, you can adjust it here. So all of that, and you can go through the, the different screens here, uh, which I have. You can see over here in the, the right hand corner, uh, the stream ending, intermission, live, right there when I'm playing, stream starting. So all of it's basically Fortnite style. So And I found that in the theme. So look through it, guys. Take your time. Look through it. Make sure you pick something that you're going to like. You can customize it. And it does everything for you. So go back to the editor. Once we go back to the editor, here we can adjust each, each of the scenes. So if you've never used OBS, um, this might be a little bit more difficult for you. You might actually want to go and find a video on how that works. Or if you would like me to make a video on how to get in the details of this, I can. Just leave that in the comments. If I get enough comments about it, I'll make. I'll take the time to make the video on how to set this up in more detail. So anyway, I'll go to my live scene because that's going to be the hardest one. It's going to have most of your stuff on it. So webcam box. When I select it, it has my webcam box here. Now you can actually group these like webcam has all of this information here my webcam used to be up here i separated it i actually made a separate screen for my webcam so i can make it bigger or smaller if i have to without having to do it on every single uh, scene so or source so i put that in here and of course it's separate but anyway webcam included all of this information it has my boxes here which actually used to be two boxes i had shrunk it because on youtube you don't have followers you have subscribers so that's all I needed and I wanted the recent donation here because yeah you can still donate on YouTube so my recent donation came from hard cow for ten dollars he is also my top donation uh, haven't had very many donations we're still a small channel and we're still growing uh, but my newest subscriber is uh, gal goalie one two three four five um, so it's neat to have them all here and one of the great things about this that's different than the OBS it's like I said, everything's streamlined. You don't have to have a bunch of applications open. With OBS, you had to have the streamlined labels open and you had to have OBS open. Here, you do not have to have that. So you go here, just to kind of show you, um, with the donation, Streamlet, it's already included. You don't have to open a separate application. Now, if it's your first time downloading it, you will have to download the uh, items in it, which is a document that has all that information on it from Twitch to YouTube, whatever you have. It'll go ahead and automatically update it when someone donates or when someone subscribes to you. It'll automatically update and change the name without you having to manually do it. Streamlabs OBS makes that a shorter process. It does everything for you. So all you have to do is make sure that it's in the right box, make sure that it's selected right, so you would right click on it, hit properties. Um, I have most recent donor. You have this drop down that gives you all of those different items. So when I was telling you that you have to might, you might have to download the documents so that it recognize when someone subscribed to you, who it is, things like that. But you would just select it. So if you didn't want the most recent, you wanted an all time top donor, you would click that. And then whoever your all time top donor is, it'll put that name in that box. All you do is switch it, that's all. So it makes it, again, very easy. You change the color to what you would like, the size, all of that. You, All you do is plug and play, guys. That's, that's basically what this program is, plug and play. Now, they have came up with uh, Chatbox, which is a new process in here, uh, which is great. So you can actually go ahead and have your uh, chat separate 
from YouTube. So you don't have to have your YouTube open. You download this, you open this, and you'll have just your chat box by itself, which is a great tool so you don't have to have YouTube open uh, or Twitch, whatever it is. You can separate the chat box and see it by itself. Of course, you can adjust all the commands, timers, mods, all of that information here. Um, as you can see here, there will be things that will be added like song requests, mini games, counter, all that will be added at a different time. So be on the lookout for that. And dashboard, which I might have to blur some of this out. Um, I don't know yet, but we'll see. But guys, it, it gives you all of your items here. Now this is where it used to be, you used to have to use this with OBS in order to have all the alerts and things like that, guys. So uh, alert boxes, this is where it used to be a little different, like I said. Um, but going in here, you can test any alerts that you set up. You can set it up for certain things. The alert delay, how big it is, how long it stays on the screen, where it's located, all of that, guys. Like I said, if you want de more detail specifics about that, uh, go look up a video for it. I'm sure it's out there. Or if you would like your boy to make one, leave that in the comments. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll we'll look into that. Um, I don't know how many streams you've ever watched, but they have different things like tip jars. Uh, basically when you uh, tip the streamer it fills up the jar it's nice aesthetics for your channel uh, something you can add um, like I said separate chat box to put on the screen all this used to be separate now you can do that right here in the editor uh, or go to themes I'm sorry go to themes and widget themes the widget themes is everything that pops up on your screen. So when you get a new subscriber, it'll pop up, it'll do certain things. If you get a donation, it'll pop up, do certain things. Or if you're on Twitch, you get a follower. Uh, prime example, this one right here, it shows you. Uh, follow, donation, subscriber. So that's what it would look like. It would pop up like this and you can see the demonstration at the top box. Follower, this is what it would look like. It would come up with the name, is now following, blam, done, easy. All you have to do is download it, put it on there. That's it. It does everything else for you, a uh, streamlined process. I, I know I sound like a broken record, guys, and I do apologize, but this is the app that you want. If you are a new streamer and you want to look like a pro streamer, download Streamlabs OBS. Hit the, the download it from the description, guys, so I can get some credit. Since you found this video, since you found this helpful, make sure you go ahead and download it from that, that description, and also leave a like on this video, guys, if it helped. Um, in order to go ahead and, like I said, put it onto your information. So you'll have to go to the settings, which is the little gear icon. Uh, and again, like I said, I might have to take some of this out, but um, you'll click stream, you'll set your stream key, which you'll find on YouTube, you'll find it in your stream section. Uh, if you are on Twitch, there is a section on Twitch, which I can't remember how to get to it, but you'll go there, you'll actually copy that and you'll paste it. You never wanna show anyone your key, guys. If you show someone your key, you will need to change it but never when you're live streaming or anything like never click on show. Your output settings. This is where I was saying this is a lot easier than setting up OBS because you were asking me how do I do my settings. When you go into general, you can actually go here and have it set it up for you. So, okay. So when you first download OBS, it will have an option on there where it will have you optimize your quality and things like that. So once you hit that, It'll set everything up for you there, guys. It'll tell you what your best quality based off your PC, what's the best quality that you should be running at. You do not have to do anything. You hit optimize, it does everything for you. That's where I was saying that you don't have to know what my settings are or what anyone else's settings are for their OBS because when you download Streamlabs OBS and you, down, uh, you go ahead and plug in your information, it'll give you the option to go ahead and optimize it and do it for you. Makes it easy, right? You don't know what you're doing, it does it for you. Go ahead and make sure that if you have not already downloaded this application, go ahead and download it now, guys. So getting back into it, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail, everything, but if you needed to restart uh, the Streamlabs session, you can go do it from here. Delete, cache, restart if you ever have any uh, issues, you can do it here. Um, your output, um, of course, like I said, once you hit the optimize, it'll do everything for you here. You don't have to change any of this. Um, guys, I also want to go ahead and give you a heads up. Your boy is upgrading his PC. All my uh, stuff is coming in soon. I got the deal on Black Friday. Uh, again, I will put that information in the description. So if you would like to go ahead and purchase that from Amazon, some of the deals are still going on. 
as of when I drop this video, it will be Cyber Monday, so make sure you go ahead and check those deals out on Amazon uh, and purchase it, guys. Like I said, I got an ice or I'm sorry, a Ryzen 7 1700X for $177. Again, that was on a Black Friday sale. So make sure you go click on the link and check out what deals they have going on if you're looking to upgrade your PC to the best that you can so that you can get the optimized, better quality on your streams. Uh, if Once you do optimize it, if you do decide you would like to uh, adjust it a little bit because you feel like, oh, my computer can still do a little bit better, you can go ahead and optimize it. I will tell you guys at 2500 bit rate, that is good for any entry-level entry PC for going into streaming. The reason why is because it will allow anyone that comes to your stream to be able to stream it without the lag. So remember, even though your computer might be super fast and can handle it, remember about your, your people that you're wanting to come into your stream. You want as many people as possible, so you want to make sure that your quality is going to be good for anyone that comes in. So 2500 would be the best bet. Mm -hmm. If you have a better encoder, you can switch it. I have in uh, NVENC. Uh, which I can select too, but I leave it on software because it seems to be that to be the better one uh, My recordings you can adjust where your recordings go So every time you stream you can also make sure that we're recording the footage so that you can save it for later If you need it if you don't you can go in there and delete it But I recommend definitely recording every stream you do because there might be something in that stream that you would like to keep and showcase later So make sure that you have that going into whatever folder you would like a lot of times it goes to a random folder, create a folder, it says OBS recordings like I did, makes it a lot easier. Uh, same as stream, the recording quality, I wanted the same as stream. You can actually make this a little bit better. Uh, if you have the space on your computer, you can always make it better. MP4, um, when we look in the audio, the only thing I have on here is my microphone, which is the Blue Yeti. Uh, you want to leave all these settings, like I said, it will optimize it for you, but basically these are the normal settings for anyone. So even if you are still using OBS, you can still use the same settings that you see here. 1920 by 1080 is going to be the base resolution. The output will be 1280 to 720. If you are uh, streaming on Twitch, that is the highest you can get anyway. Uh, if you are streaming on YouTube, uh, you can increase that a little bit if you'd like. Uh, by linear is the best one to have. Common uh, FPS value. Always have 60. 60 is always going to be the number you want. Um, that's the one thing that you do have control over. Hotkeys, if you want to do certain things, I don't actually mess with this, but if you like to have a key setting to stop, start streams, move, whatever, that's where you would set that up. Advance. Advance, I just put normal. Actually, you would want this on high. You always want your priority on high, so I don't even know why that would set that way. Uh, I think it's because I just redid an optimization here recently. But high is where you want it. Uh, video, I basically leave it all the same is what they optimize it to. If you like a stream delay, stream delay allows uh, for your stream to happen and it have a little delay. So if something was to happen to go wrong with your stream, I'm sorry. Let me start over. If there was something to happen to your stream, the stream delay does help with making sure that you have a quick fix before your audience ever notices it, all right? Um, I don't have that on really. Um, I leave it off because I prefer not to have a delay. Scene collection. Now this goes back to the widgets, the overlays, all of that. If you already have some that's set up and you'd like to keep those, but you would like to use Streamlabs OBS because it does simplify everything. So everything in one app, like I said, with the OBS, remember, you'll still have to have many th different things open in order for it to work together. Here, everything's in one app. That's why they created it and it's into one. You can still import your overlays that you have in OBS into the Streamlabs OBS and still be able to use those and set them up the way you want. So you can move to the newer platform without sacrificing what you already built for your streams. Notifications, uh, enable sound uh, for any notifications. Like if there was any, uh, you know, if it hit the threshold for your script, your skip frames, uh, your drop frames, all of that, it'll let you know. It'll actually sound and let you know that it's happening. Um, appearance. I like night mode. I don't know why everything I have, I like night mode. I like it to be dark. I don't like the bright white to happen. Uh, your chat size, you can increase that. Your chat width, all of that information you can do here. Uh, and remote control, honestly, I don't know what that is. So if you know what it is and you're checking it out just because you like to watch your boy, put that in the comments. I'm really not sure. I don't do a lot with QR codes. so. But it gives you all your stats here and stuff from your dashboard. I know I haven't been streaming a whole lot, um, so I don't have a whole lot there for us recently. Um, anyways, guys. That's basically about it. I've gone over pretty much everything for you here. Uh, again, 
this is the best platform to to use even if you are a veteran uh, streamer this streamlines everything into one which puts a lesser load onto your uh, CPU your GPU everything that you're using if you are new and you're not sure how to do everything this makes it easy simple fast and as you continue to grow on Streamlabs OBS you'll continue to get better make it more personable and then who knows one day you might decide to create your own uh, overlays and things like that I just think this process is going to make you a better streamer starting out uh, and make it a little bit easier on your computer. So without further ado guys, again, I'm sorry for how long this video might be. Uh, it will release tomorrow and again, we're back on our schedule for Monday and Friday releases. Also check out your boy stream on Thursdays um, at about 7 central standard time. Uh, about is when I stream. I have been streaming Fortnite, so if that's something you want to see. If you have not already followed me on IG or Twitter, make sure you go ahead and follow those at Playboy21DZ for both of them. Um, guys, we're going to continue to improve the streams. We're going to continue to improve the videos, so make sure you stay tuned. And again, if you want to know any of the equipment that I use, it's down in the description. If you'd like to purchase some, go ahead and click the link, take you to Amazon, and it will help me out a lot. Anyways, that's it for your boy Playboy. Peace. Here, let me break it down. Yeah, I'm gonna make it now. Give me some time and you'll see me up on stage somehow. I'm working every day. I'm working hella late. I'm working cause it's worth it. Once you make it, then you play. Y'all never slowing down.